Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a good day. Today I have a little unboxing of another vintage coach bag. Um, this one came from the States from eBay, so it took a while to get here. Um, really, like about two and a half weeks or two weeks. Anyway, here it is. Um, you know, good thing it came in the box this time. <laughs> That's good. Thank you, seller, for doing a good job with that. And I just opened the box, so but I haven't seen inside yet, so we'll just go through it together. And it's in a plastic bag. This one actually, I never really, um, I, it was never really on my list um, of things to get, but I, it just sort of popped up and it was for a good price, so I thought, why not? And I'll show you what it is. Hopefully it's in good condition. And it is the station bag. So this is the um, a black station. Uh, people confuse this for the Willis uh, just because, you know, same style. You've got um, your turn lock and your top handle and your shoulder strap or I guess crossbody strap, shoulder strap. This one's adjustable and thank goodness it's the wider strap um, for, the, for the station. So like the court, um, I believe the station came with a non-adjustable strap um, in the earlier versions. Uh, this one's a later version. I'm not sure exactly what year, but um, we'll go check it out um, in a sec. So like the Willis and the Plaza, it's got this lobster, I think this is called a lobster clasp. Um, the, sh the corners seem to have some sort of like wear, but this is not it's not a burst piping or anything, so that's good. It's going to come back after the dunk. Uh, there. The bottom of the flap here for the turn lock is somewhat dry. Uh, the turn lock is a bit scratched. You know, you can see that. But it's okay. I'm going to take all that off and polish it, make it good again. Um, also here, it's a bit uh, worn, and of course, you know, the bag, the back has no back pocket. So unlike the Willis, um, this one doesn't have a pocket in the back. If it did have a pocket in the back, it would be perfect, but that is the, uh, the downside to this bag. It's not very big, it's smaller than the Willis, and I do like a side-by-side -side comparison with my fake Willis. Um, even if it's fake, at least it's still got the same dimension, so at least I can compare it. Inside, you have one front compartment, like the Willis, again. Um, you know, it's deep. It's a north-south bag. And in the inside here, it's got the back pocket there without the zipper. And I believe that's right. The, the Willis has a zipper at the back. This one doesn't. It's just the one flap here. It's as wide as the bag. So, um, you know what? This bag is actually pretty like clean. And and then you can't see the the creed. It's at the back there. It's a back black bag. I'll just read it to you. Um, the serial number is L seven C five one three zero. So this is the nineteen ninety seven bag. Um, inside looks pretty good. It's like there's no pet hair, nothing. It doesn't even smell like anything. It's just leather, which is pretty good. I, I guess that's a score. I left out with this one. <laughs> it's not as disgusting as the Plaza or the um, or the classic Hobo. So yeah, it's it's really nice. I got this for a good price, as I said. Um, I wasn't looking for it. It just sort of just popped up. And um, I'm really, really happy that I got it. Oh yeah, and there's a hang tag here. Uh, it's very worn. Let me just go get a shot here. Coach Leatherwear. Um, the back. Yeah, it's not. Uh, it's not split or anything, so that's good too. So anyway, so that's it guys. I uh, hope you guys like this video. If you have um, any questions, please leave it down below. 
Um, if you like these types of videos, I mainly just do handbag and SLG, so if that's sort of your thing too, please feel free to subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Bye!